So Ashley and Nikki from LA wanted to know if you weren't a DJ, what else would you be doing? Uh, if I wasn't a DJ, I would probably try to be a soccer player. I would probably not be a very good one, but I would just try to be. What are you into DJing? I don't know. I actually do not know. I've tried to think of that question many times, try to figure out the answer is, and I, I can't figure out what the moment was, where the epiphany was that made me want to be a DJ. What advice would you give to people who want to get into DJ? My advice is to not go to any radio school. Don't pay thousands of dollars and go to a radio school. Yes. Do not do it. So moving on from the DJ topic, who's your favorite artist at the moment? I think probably my favorite artist of this era is probably anything that Pharrell touches. Anything Pharrell, N-E-R-D, that whole thing. If you wanted to be a famous person for a day, who would you be? And that's from George from the UK. I don't think I would want to be a famous person for a day, really. Okay, you know what? Just like get Let's it back that up. I would be David Beckham. Okay. Because then I would run around and play soccer all day and get free clothes and have a really hot girlfriend. <laughs> Wife. Wife. Yeah. And kids. Does that kind of ruin Nah, we can leave them out. This is a very serious question, so I want you to think about it for a while. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a tipsy pop? 714. You didn't even have to think about that. Oh, I know that. So you've tried that. Okay. So this is from Andre who asked us through Twitter. Blonde or brunette? Doesn't matter. Neither? I like nice girls. Nice girls. Girls who are nice. Nice. Nice, nice girls if you're here. I don't here care if you're with. blonde, brunette, bald, redhead. A nice girl. Okay. Nice. Someone who's nice. nice. Who's your biggest celebrity crush? Oh, that's easy. Who? And I feel horrible because I don't know her real name. I think it's Emmanuel. Something, but uh, she plays Sloan on Entourage. Anybody who knows me knows how I'm obsessed with Sloan from Entourage. Probably her character, because I don't know her as a okay. person. But. So if you met her, what would you do? I would probably do this. What's your biggest pet peeve? People who don't use their blinkers. Okay. Specifically, people who drive Lexus, BMWs, and anything <laughs> kind of expensive. That the, they don't think that I need to use their blinkers because oh, I'm really cool. I mean, I drive a Mercedes. <laughs> use your blinkers. This is our last question of the day. I want you to think about this long and hard. Ashley from Promotions wants to know why you're such a badass. I think Ashley from Promotions was thinking you were interviewing a different Dave. I'm definitely not a badass. I'm the farthest thing from a badass. In fact, anybody in radio is not a badass. We're all, Frankie, back me up on this. None of us in radio. See, we just walk around like we're badasses. Look at Frankie's hat. He's got a hat on sideways <laughs> because he thinks he's a badass, and I think I am, but we're none of us are badasses. We're the most dorkiest, insecure people on the planet. Speak for yourself. We were all the dorks in high why. school. Were you a dork in high school? No. He's a dork now. He's a dork here. Frankie, yeah, I don't think you're a dork. I'm a dork. I'm a, I'm a complete dork, and there's no arrogance about me whatsoever. There's, I have no arrogance whatsoever about me at all. And I'm just not into myself at all. Whatsoever? No. Okay. Me and Ryan are the same height. I feel like the girl. I feel like the girl. These are going to be very in-depth questions about me. Deep, deep journalistic questions. Are you ready? Very. Can you handle it? Can I handle it? <laughs> Ashley and Nikki, hello. How are you doing? Oh, hey, baby. What's happening? Mendel High. Hey. Mendel High. Hey.